Hi, everybody, and welcome to Mile High Huddle SI. I am your host, Kim Becker, joined by Chad Jensen. Chad, we had a tough game Monday night against the Titans, but losing is bitter. There's always some silver linings, I hope. We like to look at them. What do you think? Did you see any silver linings coming out of this game Monday night? You know, we listed Jerry Judy as one of the losers in the article. We talked about him in a separate video, Sit Down, You and I. But one thing that really jumped out to me watching that game is even though he had some struggles dropping a couple of passes, the amount of separation he's able to create with his route running, it's going to pay huge dividends for this Broncos offense. Once he kind of gets the rookie jitters out of the way and once Cortland Sutton returns to the fold and starts taking some of that attention off of Jerry Judy, man, fat separation. And that's with a PH for Jerry Judy with his route running. Got to tip your cap to him. And then again, Drew Locke staying, uh, you know, staying positive here on, you know, coming out of this, this bitter loss. I loved what I saw from Drew Locke in terms of, you know, just that it factor, having the swag, so to speak, keeping the offense moving. He was done no favors by offensive coordinator, Pat Shermer, especially in the second half. And especially with that four minute drill that was botched toward the end of the game. But I'm still excited about Drew Locke and was more encouraged by what I saw than anything else. And then lastly, you got to be excited that even though Vic Fangio's defense collapsed inexplicably in the final three minutes of the game and allowed the Titans to drive all the way from the 10 yard line into chip shot field goal range, they kept that a winnable game. The Titans had only 13 points on the board up to that point. So if the offense can finally kind of start clicking, get a, another one of its, obviously, it's one of its main role players in, in Cortland Sutton. We'll see what happens with Philip Lindsay coming out of this week with the injury. It's looking like it's turf toe. We don't know quite yet what his timetable and prognosis is going to be. But once they kind of get all hands on deck and, and get into a groove and start scoring some points, really all they got to do is get over 17. And what we saw from week one, similar to last year down the stretch when Fangio's defense really coalesced, is that defense is going to keep these opponents 17 points and under more often than not. Yeah, they had a lot of key players with injuries, and I agree. I think that there's some promise coming out of Drew Locke here. So there's definitely a lot that Broncos fans should be excited for this season. All right, everybody. Well, you heard it from Chad. Thanks so much. I'm Kim Becker here at Mile High Huddle SI. We will see you guys next time.